500 miles north near Dallas, in the small city of Waxahachie, game warden Jeff Powell responds to a tip about a wildlife crime. Uh, I've got a complainant that has an ex-girlfriend that is sticking up or killing owls and using the feathers and the talons. The informant claims his ex-girlfriend is using the bird parts to make Southwestern-style folk art. Owls are actually state and federally protected, and they're, they're a raptor. Nobody can possess any parts of them, any feathers, or even possess the animal itself. Anyone caught possessing, selling, or killing an owl faces thousands of dollars in fines. I appreciate you calling on this. After I found out that it was illegal, I cleaned that room out, make sure there wasn't nothing in my house. Okay. You know, they'd fall back on me. Right. Now, is she making dream catchers? Yeah, and, and headdresses. Headdresses? Solid headdresses. Okay, where are they made of? From this solid alphas. Really? I mean, it looks good. How, how long is it? Probably about 40, 50 owl feathers on it? Oh, no, there's more than that. Really? There's more than that. There's probably more than one owl on that yeah. specific one. That does, uh, I think she had two to start off with. Uh -huh. A bunch of different things. She has a, a big tote with uh, Ziploc bags lined up with all kinds of stuff. And the uh, feet, she got all the fingernails painted. What we call them talons. Right. But she got skulls and the feet painted. Really? All kind of weird how stuff. Has she, she sold some? Yeah. Okay. How many things she sold? Oh, she had, she can make four or five one time. Oh, really? Yeah. There's always a black market. Our problem with it is it's actually a supply demand. You know, if there's a demand for it and she's selling them and people are wanting them and we want to stop her. As long as she sells more of them, she'll go out her way and try to kill them and try to get as many as she can so she can make a quick buck. The man gives Powell multiple addresses where his ex may be staying. One is a known drug house. She's on two years felony probation for possession of methamphetamines. Oh, really? The illegal trafficking of wildlife often involves narcotics or the sale of stolen property. You get drugs involved, you know, you never know what can happen. You get pretty dangerous real quick. Instead of just going over there, doing a cold knock, asking about the owl feathers, you know, kind of want to regroup. Powell calls game warden John Thorne for backup. Hey, John, it's Jeff. Hey, man, what's happening? Basically, I'll see if you can maybe come up here and uh, give me a help with this. It's kind of taking a turn. Okay, so it sounds good. Back near Dallas, Game Warden Thorne and his canine Justin join Powell in the owl parts investigation. Jeff called me because I've got my dog trained in narcotics detection. So in the event that we do need to search something for some narcotics and in, in conjunction with this wildlife case, we'll be ready. Or if somebody runs, you know, we can, we can track them. John and I are on stake out here waiting for our suspect to leave work. I have an informant inside. He's going to text me when she gets ready to leave. And John's over there on the side in case she comes out the side door and I'm watching the front door. Hey, John. It's got a text. She's walking out. Hey, bye. Campbell? Oh, we got our suspect moving now. Kind of, we make a traffic stop at the uh, Tiger in 664. In. Hey, man, you stay back in your car. State police. Do you have a driver's license? It's expired. It's expired. Man, stopping up for me. Let me ask you a few questions. Do you have any uh, owl feathers? No, she's coming from. Okay. Nice work, man. I left April 1st. Mm. Let go. Do you have any uh, owl feathers? Say that address and that's long time. Where is the address now? The one he says I have? Yeah. At his house. What do you have there at your house? Do you have any dream no, catchers? Or do you have, have any owl parts or any? No, I don't have any of them. I have no feet and no feathers. You're kind of nervous on me. I have reason you're. I'm sick of this. Okay, well, I, well, I'm not. Dealing with anybody else, I don't know, you know who you're talking about, but right now it's just between me and you, okay? You mind us searching your car? Anything? Do you have Do you have anything in your car that's illegal? Drugs? Okay. Do you mind me taking a look inside? Uh, my dog indicated an alert on your car, okay? I'm going to search the inside of it. Is there anything in there that's going to hurt the dog? Needles, razor blades, knives. 
The dog alerts on a bag. What do we got? Some marijuana, some meth, residue. There's a, a gram right there, at least. There's a pipe here. I don't know what's in it yet. Possession of any amount of meth is a felony in Texas, punishable by jail time. With our wildlife crimes, sometimes they involve drugs. OK, what I need you to do is turn around for me, OK? Just hands behind your back. You have the right to remain silent. After reading the suspect her rights, Powell places her under arrest. No, you're living. You're living over a <laughs> Have you stayed there? Okay. Huh? I'm sorry? You're done talking? OK. That's your right, man. The woman's headed to jail, but the wardens still need to locate her stash of illegal owl parts. We don't want anybody to make any money off of protected species. She's living at a house that drugs possibly might be there. It might be a drug house. We're going to go do a knock and talk. Looking for our evidence, you know, for potential we can find some drugs there also. Game Warden Powell calls the local drug task force for backup in case the situation turns dangerous. Me and uh, John are here, so we'll just go up and knock on the door. We know what's your name, and we're looking for these owl parts. I think uh, it might be a little bit easier for <laughs> us to get in. They, they probably know what y'all look like, but uh, we might have luck getting in. Do you mind if I come in? Hey, Mike. You a uh, boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Hey, I talked to She's got a little headdress and a uh, dream catcher. Has some feathers on it. You know what we're talking about? You got it in here? Take a look at it real quick. What is that? It's an owl foot. Did he bring to you? It's definitely a barred owl, and we've got some songbirds. and. There's stuff everywhere. You got there's a blue jay. We gotta get those blue jay feathers. Let's grab those right now. That's her picture in the middle, isn't it? Is that her? Yeah, that's her. Exactly. That's awesome. Perfect. That's, yeah. that's her with all the parts that she denied she had. The game wardens now have all the evidence they need to prove the wildlife crime. But they also find evidence of other illegal activity in the house. There's a pipe right there. Hey Mike, what are you having that tin can right there? Oh, man, you got a little methamphetamine in here. All right, man, is this yours? As Powell questions the suspects further. Do you have any weapons in here first? Or you got any knives or any got any pistols or anything? No. Uh -huh. Two men sneak out the back door. When Warden Powell heads outside to see what they're up to, one of the men bolts. 